Um, one of the challenges lies in the high number and variety of data, as well as the frequency and regularity of the data collection and analysis that is necessary to monitor and met, um, measure change over time. Mm -hmm. So regular monitoring systems do not have this data. Do you have um, some reflection on that? Sure, and it's a good point. I think it's a good point in, in two, two ways. One is that I think in the case of identify because just you know we've got a stick free box, and that's not always possible, and it's not always you know essential. You say, well, where have we got? some in some in really indicators and that's going to be good enough and where do we really want better data and where do we want to be able to connect up the data and where do we have to say start to say this is really important for us to develop some better monitoring systems and we, we might not solve it for this impact evaluation now but we need to prioritize this and and this you know these particular indicators keep coming up as a gap let's start to say we will fix that gap and, and then use that in other evaluations. So I think it's a really good point that it's not just about, you know, the immediate short term, how do we do this impact evaluation, but thinking about how do we as UNICEF, how do we as UNICEF with our partners say we want to get a better handle on impact, we really want to understand that better. And if there are continuing gaps in data, maybe that needs to become a priority um, to, to fill some of those gaps. The second part I'd like to respond to that is even within that we need to be modest um, and what, what we're, what, sometimes people get the, th the idea that what we're doing is building like a big machine model, we're going to get data for everything and then we can run it through some systems um, model or something in terms of crunching out the numbers and doing predictors on things and that's very rarely what we are able to do. You know, the, the real the sheer size of the model that we would need um, is, is beyond what anyone can realistically do. So it's not, even if we had more resources for data, we're still going to come up with against that problem. We're, still, we're never going to get enough data to plug all the data in and, and make predictions. That's not the point of it. You're actually still trying to get a, a narrative of generally what's happening and, and where, the, where there are the, the exceptions to it. 